guys and welcome back. Today is Sketch Tuesday and I'm just diving into my new sketchbook. This one is one that I've used a ton of the same type, but I decided to get a much larger one this time just to give a little bit of a variety. I definitely prefer to introduce new ways of sketching to keep things a lot more refreshed and interesting for me. And yeah, that was one of the small differences. I usually use a 7x10 sketchbook that is this sketchbook. This actual sketchbook is the Canson Mixed Media. And I'll have a link down below where you can check out this sketchbook and everything else that I use in this video. You can look down there and see what I'm using. But yeah, I've been using the Canson Mixed Media sketchbook for a while now, actually. And usually I like to change the brand and the type of paper a lot, but I've been really happy with this one, especially considering how thick it is. It's a very sturdy paper, which feels really nice, especially compared to some of the other ones. And it's very thick, but it's also very cheap. And going into the sketchbook, I really wanted to incorporate more watercolor work in it so that I could just loosen things up and enjoy using watercolor in more of a sketch environment. Because as you probably know, if you've watched much of my videos, I love using watercolors. I love that medium, but I almost, only ever use them for finished pieces rather than sketching. And I love sketching and I really would like to be able to use watercolors in that. So I think it'll really help me engage more in it. I, like I, like I said, I've used the same sketchbook for a while now, but for some reason I haven't really used a lot of watercolor in it. And it definitely makes paper buckle. So if you're looking to get like a great sketchbook that'll absolutely take watercolor perfectly, this I would not say is that necessarily. It buckles a ton, but it doesn't warp nearly as bad as say a thinner paper and it definitely doesn't leak through like thinner papers. So overall this does what I want it to while still being a very affordable sketchbook. And I'm just really excited about incorporating color into my sketches in a way that I like to do it. In the past when I've wanted to use color in any of my sketchbooks, I tended to go to my collection of markers, but I've actually really don't like using them anymore. I don't like using markers, especially after using watercolors for so long. Watercolors are so much easier to use than markers, in my opinion. When I use markers, it's a lot harder to get a very smooth coating of the color and it dries out when I'm trying to get these nice strokes. So overall, watercolor is just way more enjoyable for me to use, period. So I'm just very glad that I can start moving into a direction of incorporating color like I normally like to do, but in a way that is a lot more natural to me in the way that I enjoy doing it. And this is just really something that I could have been doing all along, but it didn't really strike me until now that that's what I wanted to do. And again, that's one of those things where I like to change things up with my sketching. Like I mentioned, it really does help. And if you feel like you're getting into kind of a funk almost, I mean, I feel that all the time with my sketching, but if I feel like I'm starting to grind into a halt of not really enjoying it as much, or it's not as engaging, I will look into finding a new kind of pencil. Maybe I want to sketch in just pen for a long time and try that out. Or maybe I want to bring in a new medium like this watercolor. And oftentimes that's really just a big difference in what helps me feel engaged with my sketching again and enjoy it again. And yeah, I'm excited about this one being a little bit more personal for me. I think the sketchbook at least because in the last while actually, I really only sketch when it's time to do a finished piece. So everything in a lot of my old sketchbooks from recently have been things that I am tearing out because it's a final sketch that I use on the next step for a finished piece or their thumbnails for a finished sketch. And I really want to have a lot more sketches that are exploratory for me, things that I can learn from and things that I'm allowed to really experiment with, but also make mistakes on. I definitely think that I've been shying away from using sketching as a tool to get better or to experiment with better ideas as an artist than I would like to be. A lot of it is just very much been final goal oriented. And that is a very important part of the work process for me. But in the end, if I don't have time to try out sketches to see if it even is something that I enjoy or a subject matter that I enjoy, 
then I'm going to start stagnating, I think. And I can definitely feel that. So starting into this new sketchbook, I always feel very refreshed and ready to almost like a new year's resolution with a new sketchbook. It's clean, it's new, and I'm ready to try focusing on the things that I want to build and get better at. So for this one in particular, I really just want to fill it up with lots of sketches that are intentional to help me get better as an artist. That's the goal. I want to practice things. I want to try out looks, different styles, different techniques. And in the end, I feel like I will have really grown, hopefully, that I'll have a better grasp of what I want to do more of and what I want to do more final pieces of. That's really the big end goal is that when I work on sketches, I would really like them to be something that I am getting skills or I'm getting ideas for finished pieces rather than needing right at that moment to draw a finished piece. Maybe I've been sketching for a while this particular kind of a concept or this look and when I need to draw a finished piece, I can look through my sketchbook and see, oh, I really like what I did right here. I like this concept or even I just like this little detail. I want to do a finished piece that incorporates that. I find that is so much less stressful than when I'm like, ready and I need to make a piece happen, but I don't have the visual vocabulary leading up to that of something that I, I think I would like to work on. So then I have to like immediately come up with an idea, get it going and finish it. And I mean, I'm not saying this is overly stressful. This is generally how I work and it usually works out okay. But it is always nice when I have this backup of knowing, oh, well, look, I, I did this sketch just yesterday and I really like this. It's interesting. Uh, what can I do with this more? So overall, I just, I'm hoping that this sketchbook will be something that I can dedicate a little bit more attention to enjoying it and being a little bit more conscious about what I'm putting in there and why I'm choosing to do it rather than simply using it as scratch paper. And a big thing that I really want to try out with this sketchbook a little bit more is finding a way to be loose, but aware of each mark that I'm making. What I mean by that is I find that when I'm trying to be really loose and sketchy with something, I tend to get sloppy and careless. And it's not really intentional because I want them to look good. But a lot of times when I do try to get that style, it it does get very careless. I'm throwing things down. I'm being very thoughtless with my sketching, with where I'm putting the marks. And then of course, I, I don't like the finished product because it's all over the place. It's not me thinking through how I want to do it. So I'd really like to be able to incorporate some freer kind of brush strokes in my work. This idea of having a very liberating way of creating images sounds really exciting to me. And it's definitely, a type of art that I really need to practice. I haven't done a ton of stuff that's really loose and free and stream of consciousness almost. So that's a big thing that I want to practice. This is having a loose look, but still being able to think through each mark that I'm making and make sure that it, it still stays true to my design aesthetic, the way that I like to make lines and marks. So the more that I pay attention to each step and each motion that I do with the brush, the more I'll be able to make sure that it sticks to my final goal. So yeah, I think that this is definitely something that can take a little bit of practice for me. And that is pretty much it for today's video. I definitely feel like I'm getting a little bit better at being loose, but still controlled in the way that I want it to be. So I really like this piece. I liked working on her. I actually don't think that this photo really shows how good it looks in real life. A lot of my pieces, I feel like I can do an okay job representing it with a photo, but this one, I think it's just all that gold. Once you take a picture of it, it flattens right out. But yeah, I actually am really happy how this looks in real life. Like that's so shiny. Um, I did end up using the Fine Tech Gold Mica watercolor set. I'll have a link down in the description because I 100% recommend this paint set. If you love metallic gold, I, highly i can't recommend that set enough i love it but yeah i'll have a link to everything that i used on the description and i do upload every tuesday thursdays and saturdays so if you haven't hit subscribe yet please do and hit that bell so you can get notifications on when i upload next and i will see you guys at my next video